Well, I'm Michael, and this is my 1998 G Patrol. So, it didn't really ever start off the way I thought it would. I ended up buying this car probably about a year and a half ago. And um, my main thing was to part it out. A man of mine called me, Gabe called me and he said, I got this car in Dolby for a thousand dollars. Will you like it? And I was like, awesome. So we got a car trailer, scooted out to Dolby, went and grabbed it. And on our way home, we were him and hurrying about it. It was, had no rust. It was in pr pretty good condition in that sort of sense. So we decided to um, sell the car I had at the time to build this car. So I had a MP300 Navara. So I sold that off, I sold the D-Max off I had also. And um, we decided to build this car because we want to travel Australia and I've had previous patrols before and I've just loved them. You can beat on them and they love it. <laughs> so ended up saying, screw it. We're gonna, we're gonna build this thing up. We're gonna travel Australia in it. If anything we needed to fix, it would be pretty easy to fix. Parts are quite, quite common to get. So, um, so we ended up stripping the whole thing down. We got it home, stripped it all down and start from there. It started its life as a RD 2.8 Nissan Patrol. And then we ripped the motor out, ripped the gearbox out, pulled the whole thing down and um, got it ready for paint. Once it got painted, then we started really ramping up the mods. Like we ended up starting to buy all the full marks adapters kit and um, started getting the motor ready getting everything organised to um, start actually building this car the way we wanted. Pretty much, this is this is where I pretty much like, I kind of got like the idea from you as such. Like when I seen you, you with your GU, doing the Chasing Lines episodes and that, and I was like, that's sick, touring in an LS. Best of both worlds, you can tour around, got the power behind you. Looked around for a... Nice. Yeah. When I was done, it's like, I've fucking ripped my motor out, because I think it's shit. <laughs> and he's like, yeah man, sick motor. So, um, yeah, so we ended up telling, so pretty much we um got a little tuned before we left on our trip, got a little finalised, and um, then we went out and ordered a brand new caravan, waited for the caravan to arrive, and uh, we were a bit sceptical about how it was going to tow with the new caravan. And um, yeah, it t honestly towed awesome. Can't say that for the fuel consumption side of things, but um, yeah, no, it was honestly a great to tow. Like three ton behind it, car fully loaded up as well. It was awesome, um, awesome power. Power's always there for it. Definitely, yeah, definitely would do it again and planning to do it again as such. So um, it pretty much started when I was, I was 15 years old and I got my first car, bought it from auctions. It was a Nissan Silvia. So I bought my first car and um, it was awesome. Did a, a tiny little few mods to it ended up selling it, um, sorry, swapping it for a um, Suzuki Sierra. Then started um, modding the Suzuki Sierra, did the lift, wheels, little roll cage, lockers, stuff like that. Still couldn't drive yet, still had males. So um, ended up getting bored of not being able to drive it. So ended up selling that again. Um, then I went to a 1998 G Patrol again. Um, this one was RD28, I ended up blowing that up and went to a 4.2. Did the conversion myself. And um, it was it was an awesome car. Like really loved it. But obviously, um, when you're a P player, you just kind of be stupid in them. So it kind of ruined the car. But um, then from there, I decided I'll go out and um, buy a new car, get rid of all the old car problems. And um, that's when I picked up the MP300 and ended up doing that up and driving that for quite a while. And then kind of missed actually going out to the bush and like working on cars as such. So I thought I'd give myself a headache and buy another one. Yeah, so it was definitely a big learning curve for that conversion on that car. Like I did it all myself. Um, it pretty much was all done in just in my own little carport. Um, in total, like I couldn't imagine how many hours have gone into the car just in just in sheer work of it, getting it all ready for just even just getting it ready for paint. Um, pretty much everything was done by myself. Ordered the um, Marks Adapters conversion, got that. Ordered the motor, and while I was waiting on those kind of things, that's when I was going around doing the interior doing like the bar work and lights and pretty much everything like that sort of sense. 
after we've got the car built, we ended up um, taking off on the road. So first we started um, in, obviously left Brisbane, headed out towards Nchilla, then went towards Roma, then made our way across um, the Northern Territory, taking the Plenty Highway. Did break a few things on the caravan on that part, but um, went from Northern Territory, went to Uluru, went, kept following the whole way down to SA coastline. Did the, all the Eye Peninsula, and then made our way into WA. And um, stayed in Esperance for quite a while there. Met up with some of the locals there and did some forwing with them, it was pretty awesome. And then um, stayed around that area for a bit, but we, had to, we ended up coming quickly back home just for Christmas time, but we are going to yeah, take off again and go do Cape this year and go the other way around this time. I've got more plans on the car, like for instance, I have like a rear, whole rear battery system going back in it. I'm going to a lithium setup, um, better charges in the back, in the rear of the car. Um, for now, it's, it's on a safe tune on 98. Um, when I do get back from traveling, I really did want to go, not, I wanted to go E85, did a bigger boost pulley, underdrive, and start seeing some, a lot more power. Because right now it's pretty safe at the moment. It's running um, pretty much nearly to stock boost for traveling. Uh, to keep everything pretty reliable. Like the trip we did, we had pretty much zero issues. All we had was a O2 fail and an um, injector plug clip come off. But other than over 20,000 kilometers, that was it. That was all our problems. And if you guys want to see a full detailed walk around of my rig, it'll be in tomorrow's episode and the link is just down below. Oh, you beat me. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, we're off the ground. Woohoo! Five mil flex. So it's spirited driving. Definitely a driving economical. Oh no! That's not meant to be in there. Oh no. <laughs> They say the definition of subscribe is to arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance. Please arrange to receive something, typically a publication, regularly by paying in advance by clicking the button below.